Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the MetaNerd channel. I am Marcus bringing you another video for Car 5 Vanguard Will Dress. In this video, we will be going through the fourth week for DBT-07. I mean, uh, DBT-07 is already out at this point point in time so i'm just gonna speed run through all of the reveals and of course i'm not gonna put everything in one video because that would be really stupid <laughs> but uh probably in another video or two i should be wrapping up dbt07 depending on how many cards there are left but still there will be a separate video for all the archetype specific support for example nirvana support as well as everyone's favorite youth perk support so those videos will be separated so maybe i will look at at least four videos <laughs> only then we're wrapping up dbt07 but anyways i'm getting sidetracked we're gonna take a look at the fourth week support that are being revealed for dbt07 let's take a look first off for dragon empire we have thundering cannon dragons sliver rex continuous rearguard circle during your turn this unit gets 10k power and if your opponent has a front row rearguard this unit cannot attack a vanguard yeah this card is kind of reminds me of the first card that we actually have for the festival selection set for d series which is hunger Sword. These two has a almost similar skill with one getting a 10k and the other one is only a 5k. If there's a rear front row rear guard, both of these could not attack the vanguard. So these two are kind of a, in a similar boat. They don't really do much with the exception of this grade 3 having a more power boost because this is a 23k attacker while the grade 2 is only a 15k. This just goes to shows that power creep is actually real <laughs> but then again the only benefit that you will want to run the grade 2 over the grade 3 is that the grade 2 is able to intercept while this grade 3 is is just a meaty attacker most likely going to be a skip because he's not going he's not doing anything <laughs> as of now and with him not being able to attack the vanguard is actually a big minus next up we have blaze maiden cnr auto rearguard circle when this unit attacks a vanguard if you have a rearguard with two or more original dress this unit gets 10k power until the end of that battle now the problem with this kind of support inside crossover dress is that the space is just too tight <laughs> it's it's just too tight in crossover dress so most likely this kind of support is gonna get skipped you don't have space to run any more support because you have prayer dragon trick star as well as the dresses so yeah not going to run this card anytime soon lastly we have broken toys this order card for Tamayura. Play this card if you have Tamayura in its card name, as always. Look at the top seven cards of your deck. Choose up to one card with Rirumi in its card name and up to one card with Rarami in its card name from among them or your drop. Put them into your soul and shuffle your deck. If your soul has one or more cards each with Rirumi in its card name and with Rarami in its card name, draw a card. You can choose one card each from among the look card and from your drop zone. This card is basically a consistency card for Tamayura to recycle your Rarami and Rirumi as well as basically search out your deck for these two cards. These two cards are actually essential for Tamayura to attack five times as well as also basically just draw you a card or put one of your opponent's rear card to the soul, which I don't think you will want to do that. <laughs> But other than being a consistency unit, I don't think this card does a lot for Tamayura for now, as we all know that DBD08 is going to give Tamayura a brand new doll. So who knows? This card might come in clutch once we actually know what the skill of Rirumi and Rarami for DBD08. And what's more, you don't really lose the hand since this card does draw you a card provided if you have Rirumi as well as Rarami in the soul, which is actually super, super nice. If you are a Tamayura player, this card will definitely be vital for you to get not only does it search out your rerumi and rarami it also filters out the deck which is super super nice next is a pr card for dark states demonic lord of hades blaze barful Medes. auto vanguard circle when this unit attacks a vanguard cost put two grade three rearguard into your soul draw a card and this unit gets 10k power until the end of that battle for every three grade threes in your soul second seal continuous vanguard circle this unit gets all of the following according to the number of grade three cards in your soul three or more all of your grade three unit gets shield 5k and boost six or more for the battle this unit attack when your opponent would call cards from their hand to garden circle they must call three or more at the same time yeah 
it's basically dark state bastion with the exception that this boss unit does not really allows you to attack for four times it only allows you to attack for three times but those three times are going to be super disgusting it allows all grade three to boost which means that most of your grade three is going to be hitting for 26k so if you personal right that's going to be 36 so it's actually a super disgusting number not to mention the center with him attacking your you your opponent will need to guard with three or more which is the exact same guard restrict skill as Vlackberg, which is going to be really disgusting in the late game provided if your opponent wants to guard even if they guard with a pg they still need to throw extra two more cards so it's a total of four cards in their hands it is very disgusting <laughs> and also not to mention the 5k shield for every grade three is actually super nice but it's not going to be as game breaking as you know 5k shield it's not much it's not much but probably should be enough to help this deck out a little bit just a little bit this deck does open up some cards to be like really really good for, which is actually super super nice and could be very fun for deck building as well as strategy next up we have demonic blade of cutting sky transroder active vanguard circle once per turn cost soul blast six grid zero cards soul chart six choose six of your unit and they get 10k power until the end of turn uh yeah this is probably going to be a budget boss unit which uh is I, I, I don't know what how I feel about this. Uh, it's like, mm, this card, this right line, or should I say this boss unit is gonna deck out like super hard. So that six grade zero cards is not really to say it's impossible, but the soul charge six is actually super nice because if you do have brainwash on the field, that's an auto 30K to <laughs> brainwash, which is super disgusting. And not to mention the 10K that this card provides, which means that brainwash by himself is a 48K unit, be it an attacker or a booster, super disgusting. <laughs> so the soul manipulation skills that Drudge World actually has, for example, Metal Barra or some other cards, which basically allows you to put any cards to the soul is going to be very, very vital. And not to mention, he does actually have quite a few of them. But if you already are invested in some of the other boss unit within Dark States, I would suggest you to skip this. This card, uh, yeah, I, I don't think this will this deck will do well <laughs> because he just does so little for, you know, a lot. <laughs> Next up, we have Inhale Pit. Active Rigor Circle, once per turn. Cost so bless one or more grade one cards. Choose two grade zeros cards from your drop and put them into your soul. Yeah, so this basically is helping Transroda to manipulate the soul for you to basically recycle some of your grade zeros in the drop zone back to the soul in order to fuel Transroda's cost. However, that's not the only selling point of this card. Since Barrow Magnus does have the support to basically recycle grade zeros from the soul back to the deck, this card could actually help Barrow with basically recycles trigger from the soul to deck since you are replacing one or more grade one cards with grade zero. So I guess it's not bad, <laughs> but here's the problem. I don't think you will have the space for it. And not to mention, this card will only be activated at the very late game where most of your triggers are already out in the drop zone. So yeah, not really worth the run, but it's actually a very, very nice uh, idea to basically put all of your triggers from the drop to soul and then just put them, put them back to the deck, which is actually super nice. Next, we have Green Reaper Lurking in the Shadows, Zilmort. Active Rigor Circle, cast Candle Blast 1 and put this unit into your soul. Look at the top two cards of your deck, choose up to one card from among them, call it the Rear Guard Circle and put the rest into your soul. So this basically exchanges himself for a potentially key pieces or potentially another bat unit because there's still a chance for you to check top two triggers. So that's not really that good. This card alone gives you two soul at the cost of one counter blast, which is not the best for now. And I'm ha I'm actually having trouble fitting this card into any right line, but perhaps maybe draw jewel will need this or maybe some other boss unit that we might talk about in the future we'll need this card it's actually super super nice but most likely it's gonna be a skip because you have other better stuff to be run anyway next we have steam fighter zoo sudra auto when this unit is placed on rigor from soul cost soul blast one and this unit gets 10k power until the end of turn skip there's skip next we have hypnograph sir conduce background rigor circle 
During your turn, if your soul has 6 or more cards, this unit gets boost. And if your soul has 12 or more cards, it gets 10k power. Continue boosting even if your soul becomes 5 or less after you boost it. So this as first is not really that great, but considering Dark States does not typically have like a very, very good grade 1 card, with the exception being Brainwash Swirler, this card is actually super nice in certain situations. For example, after so many rounds of testing Dark States deck, I tend to have like a lack of great one booster so chaos would actually really like this card i don't think you would want to put this in barrel magnus because barrel magnus has a million better units than this card but chaos i think will is workable with this card this card is a 20k booster so nikani inside the chaos that is gonna hit super super hard and not to mention it's free <laughs> most likely going to be a skip but yeah do mark my words this card might see play in the future Lastly, we have Steam Shooter Puanum. Continuous Rigor Circle. During your turn, if your opponent's Vanguard is greater or greater, this unit gets 5k power. Yeah. <laughs> Skip. Moving on to Cater Sanctuary, we have Knight of Rotation Gwendolyn. Continuous Rigor Circle. During the battle, this unit attack. If you personal right this turn, this unit gets 5k power. And when your opponent will call cards from their hand to Guardian Circle, they must call two or more at the same time. This is a 18k attacker on the fourth turn, provided if you personal right. If you don't, then this card is useless. <laughs> so most likely, I think this is going to be uh, either Tegria or Hexa Orb support. But uh, space is something that is like a luxury at this point so most likely not going to be run i would say but it's actually a quite a nice surprise attacker to catch your opponent off guard if you do decide to play this card but who in their right mind will want to play this because you have other better cards once again alongside the Sessive axe dragon which is the grade 3 dragon that youthberg has this combo is actually very very disgusting but then again why would you want to run this card <laughs> next we have knight of heavenly ringing sonitia active rigor circle at the end of the battle this unit boosted a vanguard with bastion in his card name if that battle's drive check did not reveal a grade 3 card Cost counter blast one and retire this unit. Choose one of your rear guards and stand it. This card is actually kind of weird. Although it does help Bastion with its drive checking whiffing situation. For example, if you don't check any like grade threes in your drive check in, in order to activate Bastion's skill to restand either the front row, rear guard, or all of your grade three rear guards. It does help with that, but at the same time, you're basically enables yourself to whiff <laughs> in order to use this card. The reason why I say that is because this is a grade one card. If this is a grade three, then perhaps it has its uses, but uh, I mean, it's a common card. I'm not gonna bash this card too hard. I mean, it's a common card for budget players. I think it's okay, but for competitive or if you do have like a bare minimum amount of money to spend, I don't think you will want to spend it on this card <laughs> it's uh, not really that great of a card and not to mention once again it's a great one card in a bastion deck for stoikia we have we only have archaeological scientist anti elter although when this unit is placed on rigor circle cost so blast two choose one of your other units in the same column as this unit and it gets 10k power until the end of turn yeah um i think so might probably be an issue here because uh, as we all know from the triple R as well as double R for Stoikea, we do actually have stuff that actually so blasts. Although this card might be geared to its Magnolia, but then again, um, I don't think you will have the soul for you to actually use this card. But it's still it, a, a 10k to another unit in the same column is actually super nice. For example, Gunusla will take full advantage of that power because Gunusla is able to transfer whatever power that he currently has to another unit, which actually is super nice but in all honesty this card will be skipped because it's not doing anything at least for that amount of cost you could use other cards most probably next we have a pr card for gravidia gravidia head rail although rigor circle once per turn when your meteor is put into your order other than from drop cost counter blast one choose a meteor from your drop put it into your order zone and this unit gets 5k power until the end of turn yeah so this does helps you recycle your meteor because Gravidia has the issue of not being able to recycle their meteor fast enough for a subsequent 5 meteor skill activation. So this card does help with that consistency and which will make Gravidia as a whole even scarier than what she is at the moment. I mean, she's the top deck at this point. She just doesn't care whatever the matchup. <laughs> 
So with this card helping her with the consistency of setting up the meteor, yeah, it's actually pretty close to being broken at this point. And what's more, this is a 15k attacker is actually quite decent. As long as you're able to hit double triggers, I think even without the power boost, this card is going to be super disgusting. Not because of its attack, it's because of, you know, the consistency of setting the meteor from the drop. However, counterblast might be an issue because of how many stuff that Gravita has that actually causes counterblast. Although it's not going to be as detrimental as some of the other decks out there, but still. Counter Blast one, it will stack up. So do be careful on your Counter Blast usage. Lastly, we actually have a promo card for Kyrie. Looking up Frank's Azumi. Auto Rigor Circle. When your Vanguard with Kyrie in its card name attacks, cost Counter Blast one, return this unit to your hand, choose up to one looking up Frank's Azumi from your hand and call it to open Rigor Circle. If you call a card, choose one of your Vanguards and it gets 5k power until the end of turn. So this basically just lets Kyrie have a very, very small power boost while at the same time helps you return this unit back to hand and for sure you are a you will have this card in your hand it's just no way that you do not have this card in your hand <laughs> because it's it says return this unit to your hand so there's no way that you will have not have this card in your hand and not to mention the open rigor circle since you will be returning her back to the hand which means that that rigor circle that she was previously on will be a open rigor circle so it might seem like this card is like meh but I would say this card does have its usage, although 5k is not much, but it is still something. Plus, Kyrie does not really use a lot of counter blast, so the counter blast usage here is not really that detrimental, if I do say so myself. And that is all for week 4 for DBT07. Hopefully, I can wrap this up real quick and basically go do other style of videos. Do like and subscribe if you like this video, and of course, during the bell notification icon so that you don't miss a video I upload. With that being said, I'll see you all on the field.